Okay, hi everybody, it's Rebecca from Naturally Made by Rebecca, and today we are going to make lip balms. Yay! Okay, so first thing is we want 60 grams of local beeswax. So I've got my scale here and turn it to grams. We want 60 grams of local beeswax. That's 31, 61, that's close enough. And then we want six grams of lanolin. This is lanolin. I, um, Tear ourselves out here. We want six grams of this. It's four. That's nine. That's too much. Seven. That's close enough. This recipe is really um, flexible, so we don't have to be right on the money. And the next thing is aloe butter. Aloe butter is so good for you, for your lips. Very moisturizing. Okay, now we want 10 grams of this. I didn't tear it out, so that was 7. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so we want 17 grams of this. That's what happens when you don't tear stuff out, okay? You have to kind of calculate for a second because you didn't tear it out. So zero that out. And then we want 12 grams of orange butter. So this is orange butter. It's made with orange peels. We want 12 grams of that. That's seven. That's 13, that's close enough. And then we want 15 grams of cocoa, cocoa butter. This is very moisturizing butter right here. Tear it out. We want 15 grams. I wonder how much this weighs. 15 grams, okay. Well, that worked out well. Okay, so. It's better if you put all your hard butters in first, because you know how I just kind of set that in, you know, and measured it? You won't be able to do that if you've got olive oil or something in the bottom there. Because um, you won't be able to take it back out. Let's see, I need 25 grams of shea butter. Seven grams of vitamin E oil, but that was before I switched to this vitamin E, okay, from Essential Depot, and you really just need a tiny little bit because this is undiluted. Okay, like literally like that much. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, here we go. Five grams of jojoba oil. Let's see how much I can get out of this bottle, if anything. Let's zero that out. Okay, 
Oh, one gram. Okay. This is a jojoba oil. It's a liquid wax. It is really good for your lips. Alright, so now we need castor oil. This is a natural softener for your lips and skin. Zero that out. Six grams of this. Alright. And then we need eight grams of soy wax. Which I would have sworn I had. Oh, there it is. Here it out. We need, let's see, eight grams of this. Soy wax makes it super smooth. Then we need one gram of grapeseed oil. Alright. Uh, Ten grams of cocoa butter. Oh, I got some soy on me. And we're going to add 17 grams of zinc oxide to this after it's melted, okay? So what we've got going on is I've got a New Wave Pro um, that I'm going to heat this water up on really super quickly. This is an induction heating portable cooktop that I love and I'll bring you back when that starts heating up so what's going on here is you have your water underneath there heating up causing steam everybody knows what a double boiler is mostly make sure the water is not touching the bowl on the bottom that's very important that's a no-no with double boilers the water should not be touching the bowl Okay, put it on here and we are waiting for everything to melt. The last thing to melt will be this beeswax right here. It will take the very longest time to melt. So I'll bring you back when everything is all nice and melty. We're still waiting on the wax to melt. See them? Still waiting on the beeswax. Okay, the beeswax is melted now. The very last thing you want to add is zinc oxide. Um, this will make it SPF 10. Okay, what I've done is I have made a batch of this and added the zinc oxide in a larger quantity because zinc oxide, if you breathe it in, it's actually not that great for you. So I've went ahead and put it in some um, of this wax okay and gotten it ready for us so I don't have to worry about wearing a face mask and all that every time I want to add this to lip balms so we're just going to add that and we're going to wait for that to melt it will melt pretty quickly
like I said, this will make it SPF 10 for your lips. So you don't have to worry about your lips getting sunburned. when that's incorporated. Okay, so my cooktop here has decided it doesn't like me today. So we're going to try to get these in the tubes as quickly as possible. I don't usually have to worry about that because I just leave it on the whole time. But okay, here's our tubes right here, okay? Well, when they come, this is not rolled off. This right here is not rolled all the way down, and that will make you really mad if you start filling up tubes that aren't rolled all the way down. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Sometimes I have to take them out and figure out why they're not lined up correctly. Roll them up and roll them back down. Since you added the zinc oxide to here, you have to keep this stirred pretty good. Or all the zinc oxide will go down to the bottom. So here we go. We're just going to start filling these up. There you go, that's what you mean when somebody says something's handmade. Not filled up by a machine, it's filled up by me. have this problem with the spoon. I don't understand why that's happening this time. Probably because I'm on video, trying to make a video.
It's very important that you let these cool all the way down to, to room temperature before you put the caps on. Do not put the caps on, okay, if they are not all the way cooled down. What will happen is you'll get condensation on the inside of the cap or whatever and that can cause your product to mold when it's sitting on the shelf. Nobody wants, well, I didn't want that one either. Um, nobody wants moldy lip balms, okay? Nobody wants that. Oh, the spoon is just not cooperating with me today for some reason. bring you back when they're all filled up and we go to the next step. Alright guys, well there they are, all in their tubes. I'll bring you back when it's time to package them. Alright, bye. Alright guys, we're back. It's been about three hours and they've come to room temperature. We are now ready to clean them up. So the first thing we're going to do is put on the lids. Okay? It's going to squish a bunch of the extra out on the lids. So you don't have to worry about trying to get it off of the lids.
what you're going to do is get a paper towel. This is usually the only time I use paper towel. I usually use cloths that I've made. But you don't want to wash wax and oils out of some cloths, okay? And then all you're going to do, take your wipe it down, wipe all that excess off the outside of each lip balm. If you don't do this, it'll look nasty. And when you go to put the packaging and the labeling on, it won't stick. So that's what I'm going to do to each and every one of them. And I'll bring you back. Alright, so I'm back. I need to cut out these wrappers for the lip balms. So I'll cut up all of these. So this one, okay, is it's like two by three or something. And I'll cut all these out using my paper cutter and I'll bring you back. Okay, I cut all these strips and what happens is I use this glue stick, permanent Yoohoo glue stick here, okay, and I put it all over the back of the paper. So, and then I take it and I line it up right here and I roll it around. Lining up the lines. Then I take some tape and right on the edge here I put a piece of tape right on the crease there. Then I have all the ingredients. Okay, write it out on this little label here. And I take the back off. And right on the crease right here, on top, because this sticks better to the tape, I stick on the ingredients.